Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and in this video, I am going to explain some things about how stats work in World of Warcraft that might help you understand. These are based on some common questions that I get in my stream, uh, and will, I, I think, help answer those and help you get a framework in your head that helps you answer whatever questions come up in Shadowlands that are of the same type. So, to start off, I'm going to do a very simple example here with some fake made-up stats to help illustrate a point that will be relevant for the rest of this video. So the basic point that I'm trying to, I'm going to try and make here is that the more you have of any one stat, the more valuable the, every point of every other stat becomes, and therefore the less valuable more points of that same stat become. So to do this, I've got an example. There it is. I've made up two stats. One is called power, and each point of that gives you 1% damage, and the other is called forcefulness, and each point of that also gives you 1% damage. Say you have a base DPS of 100, right? If you have 10 extra points of stats and you spend them all in either of these two, your DPS is going to go up to 110, right? But if you spend 5 in power and 5 in forcefulness, then instead you're going to be at 105 times 1.05, right? Because that's, that's adding the, the extra 5%. Let me open up my old calculator here. 105 times 1.05, 110.25. Right? You're, you're going to get more damage out of splitting your stats between these two because they multiply with each other, right? That's the main thing that is true for my example here, and that's true in World of Warcraft as well. Every point of haste you have is going to make points of crit do more damage because there's more rolls that can get crit on, right? Every point of crit you have is going to make every point of haste better because of the same interaction. Uh, so all of those things mean that People often come into my stream and they're like, hey, what percent, you know, crit do I want to have? What percent haste do I want to have on this, this spec? And except for in some cases where there are specific breakpoints, and those are extremely rare in modern World of Warcraft, the general answer is it depends on your item level. If you have item level 460, you want less, you know, of any given stat than somebody who has item level 475. Because if you're, if you're 460 and you try to get as much crit as somebody else has at 475, you're going to have a lot less of all the other stats, and those other stats will be really valuable because you have so much crit. So uh, that's point one that I wanted to make here. Okay, point two about World of Warcraft stats in particular, and this comes from the WoW Gamepedia page. Not all 1% of a stat costs the same amount of stat points, right? Not all, you know, 100 crit will give you a different percentage of crit than 100 haste will give you of haste. Here are the numbers on that. 72 crit right now in BFA is what it takes to get 1% crit. 68 haste is what it takes to get 1% haste. 85 verse is what it takes to get 1% verse. This is a lot of the reason here that verse versus a stat that uh, often people think of as being a pretty bad scaling stat because it has such a high, you need such a lot of, you know, of stat number to get stat percent out of verse. Mastery doesn't actually have a uniform answer here. And this is something that uh, people who are used to playing just one spec, they'll tune in, right, to my stream, and they'll look up here in the top left, and they'll see, like, a mastery percentage number here, and they'll be like, oh my god, you know, 40% mastery, that's so much more than the amount of haste you have. But if you actually look at the amount of mastery that I've got, I've got 933, and I have 1,774 haste, right? So I have twice as much haste stat as I have mastery stat, just the mastery percentage is scaling differently. It's a different thing. The, the way to compare is the number, not the percent, uh, for understanding how much I'm invested into each of these stats. Now for Mastery, this is, is a page here, the WoW Gamepedia slash Mastery, where you can actually see how many points it takes to get 1% of your Mastery effect. For some, for some specs, it's as low as like 30 points of Mastery will give you a percentage of the effect. And for some specs, it's as high as 130 points, right? Uh, to get 1% of Restodrid Mastery. So... Uh, it's a very big effect, and it means that you just shouldn't you shouldn't just judge based on that mastery percentage thing. Really, the easiest way to is to actually just compare the stat to see how invested somebody is into their thing. All right, let's talk about the next thing here, and that is why, for some specs, this patch, there are corruption effects that amplify a stat that are strong, and yet gemming or enchanting or itemizing into that stat is weak. So an example of this would be haste for havoc demon hunter. Uh, haste for most Warlock specs, Mastery even for Hunter. The reason this works uh, is because there are... So, okay, let's let's do Havoc Demon Hunter as an example here. Havoc Demon Hunter plays three copies of a, furious, of the, a trait called Furious Gaze, and that gives them an absolute boatload of haste. An absolute boatload of haste in their, in their I-beam windows. 
Because of that, if you can just add 50 haste to your character sheet, that doesn't really do much, right? Because you'd rather get something like crit to multiply with that huge amount of haste that you already get in your Furious, win Furious Gaze window, right? As we were talking about earlier, when you have a boatload of one stat, that points of the other stats start to become more useful, and Havoc Demon Hunter has an Azerite trait that gives them a boatload of a stat. Haste is not a good stat to gem and enchant on Havoc for that reason. But the expedient corruption, the corruption that says haste from all sources, is different because it increases the effect of the Furious Gaze, right? Furious Gaze gives you a boatload of haste, and haste from all sources gives you a multiplier on that boatload, right? 12% haste from all sources equals 12% from each of those Furious Gaze traits, so it's effectively 36% of another Furious Gaze trait, right? If you could think of it as 0.36 Furious Gazes, in addition to the effect that it has on multiplying your base haste, which is fairly minimal. And so because of that, it's a very strong corruption, but a very weak stat to gem or enchant on the on the spec. Not a very weak stat, but not a great stat, right? For some specs, like Fire Mage, this goes in a complete... Because, because of this logic, right? Because Fire Mage gets mastery from their combustion effect, they get mastery from their Blaster Master Azerite, they have all these effects that make them want the Masterful Corruption, then they have eight copies of the Masterful Corruption on their character sheet, and so every point of mastery is actually doing double what it would without all those corruptions. So because of that, then they actually get to this point where mastery is also their best stat because they have all that mastery corruption, which would have been worthwhile even if they didn't have mastery as the stat that they were stacking uh, because of the interactions it has with those Azurite traits and the combustion effect. Anyways, hopefully that helps you understand a little bit about how stats work in World of Warcraft uh, and the effects that they have and why you're interested in some. It is worth noting that for some specs, there are actually breakpoints for stats where things become more or less useful. There are amounts of haste where you will get an extra, an extra global cooldown in a certain window. There are amounts of crit where you go to a guaranteed crit of, a, of an effect, and then above that, they, it stops being a particularly useful stat. Uh, examples of this are like Holy Shock for Holy Paladin, uh, or Between the Eyes, especially with a, a Ruthless Precision roll for Outlaw Rogue. Those have achievable crit points where it's not a hard cap, right? You're still getting value out of crit on your other effects, but you, you stop gaining value from crit for those effects at that point, and that can make the stat less good. There are a few cases like that in WoW, not very many. Not as many as most specs just have, you know, the more you get a one, the more you want of the other. And even if you have a haste, you know, breakpoint where you get an extra global cooldown, there are so many passive haste, you know, procs and stuff. Uh, your own Vita Charge Titan Shard, your group's Vita Charge Titan Shards, your other Trinket proc that might have haste on it, uh, quick navigation, overwhelming power, all these effects that can, like, affect your haste in any given moment that it stops being such a hard cap on your character sheet where there's a huge change in value and how, how much point, how much value you're getting out of each point of haste. Uh, and it's usually, it's usually not that there's a steep fall off at any given percent. And it's usually just this effect of the more of one stat you have, the more you want of all the others. Anyways, hope this video has helped. Hope this video helps you think about how stats work. If I've done a poor job of explaining anything, please ask questions and answer them. If you know the answers in the comments below, uh, remember to check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one.